Despite the effects of COVID-19 in the United States and Britain, these countries remain attractive options for Jamaican nurses seeking better economic opportunities. And with the rising number of cases locally, the departure of nurses continues to hurt the local health sector. Shamela Pullen has that story. No nurse migrated from Jamaica between March and June this year. As fears about COVID-19 cases in countries such as the United States and Britain and few airlines flying put a hold to their prospective employment. But over the last three months, recruiters have been back. President of the Nurses Association of Jamaica, Carmen Johnson, says in June, at least 20 nurses left for jobs overseas. What we recognize is that the U.S. and the U.K. now have gone back into heightened gear into recruiting and to bringing up the individuals that they had prior engaged. And so for the last month, you, and you have some others who are waiting to go, while some of those who were supposed to go have asked for leave to remain because they're still concerned that we are still not able to have our hands on controlling COVID fully here in Jamaica, plus they prefer to remain where their family members are at this given point in time. But it has increased. To make matters worse, Ms. Johnson says approximately 20 other nurses are out of the system due to being infected with the COVID-19 virus. Additionally, almost 110 are in quarantine, either waiting on COVID-19 test results or to see if they have symptoms of the virus. So it again will be putting us into a, a, um, a position where we're losing our experienced workers. It's not those who graduated for a year or two years, those who have graduated for three years or more who will be leaving and who are leaving. And so it's going to place us into that position where again the burden will be placed on few experienced ones who are waiting or who wish to remain within the system. And our hope is that the numbers will not exponentially increase in the next couple of months before the end of the year when we know where we are with COVID-19. The health minister had indicated recently that it will be employing additional nurses, both locally as well as from Cuba. Ms. Johnson says the association had asked for the local nurses who have just completed training to be given priority. So with their plan of foot to increase the number of Cuban recruits, we made it clear that before they can in recruit additional Cubans who our nurses still have had to be carrying for months now, because some still cannot complete their full orientation to believe on their own or to be able to carry the work burden. Those who we have waiting for employment in Jamaica, who understand the system and who understand the patients, must be employed before any recruitment can take place. Ms. Johnson is hoping this will filter down to the regional health authorities. She calls on these regions to start interviewing and processing the new nurses. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.